A wet dream, also called a nocturnal emission, is when a person becomes sexually aroused during sleep and may experience an orgasm. Wet dreams are linked to brain chemistry and sleep cycles. During REM sleep, the eyes twitch and the brain is active. Breathing and heart rate increase, which causes an increased blood flow throughout the body, including the genitals, which may cause swelling in the penis or clitoris. Dreaming usually happens in this stage of sleep. Wet dream often happens during dreams that may be sexual in nature, but not always. They can also occur after stressful dreams, which activate the sympathetic nervous system and lead to involuntary ejaculation. In males, testosterone peaks during REM sleep, which aligns with when most wet dreams happen. It usually includes the release of semen and orgasm. The amount of semen is similar to a waking ejaculation. Men can wake up during a wet dream or sleep through it. Rhythmic contractions of the pelvic floor muscles may be felt if the person wakes up during or right after the event, though they typically subside quickly. And for females, it may involve vaginal lubrication and may lead to orgasm. Female wet dreams, on the other hand, are harder to identify than males. While ejaculation usually confirms orgasm in males, vaginal lubrication in females can happen without an orgasm. So just having vaginal lubrication isn't enough to mean an orgasm occurred. Some women experience rhythmic muscle spasms in the vagina and pelvic floor muscles immediately after awakening from a wet dream. A male must go through puberty and begin producing testosterone and semen to experience nocturnal emissions. So, wet dreams can begin at any time after puberty starts, which is usually between the ages of 8 and 14. Nocturnal emissions are most common during the teenage and young adult years, when testosterone levels surge, often reaching two to three times higher than in later adulthood. These hormonal changes can trigger wet dreams, even without any conscious sexual thoughts. Some males have their first ejaculation during a wet dream, while others may experience it earlier through masturbation. Wet dreams are a normal part of growing up, but not every teenager has them. Having them often or not does not mean there's anything wrong. Some people have wet dreams a few times a week, while others may only have a couple of wet dreams throughout their lives. Other factors, such as genetics, stress, and sleep patterns play a role, and there is no way to stop it. After a wet dream, the male body enters a refractory period where sexual arousal is temporarily suppressed. This varies from minutes to hours, depending on age, health, and individual factors. Some men notice a sense of pleasure, relaxation, or mild fatigue due to the orgasm's calming effects, which often helps the person return to sleep. Others might feel temporary sensitivity in the genital area. Semen on bedding or clothing is common and easily managed with washing. Like males, for females, wet dreams, nocturnal orgasms, can occur after puberty begins, typically between ages 8 and 14, though they may happen before or after the first menstrual cycle and are not experienced by all individuals. Females are most likely to experience wet dreams around ovulation, which occurs roughly halfway through the menstrual cycle. This is when estrogen levels peak and sexual desire may also be higher. After ovulation, progesterone levels increase. During this time, 
Some women may feel more sensitive or notice changes in sexual arousal. Vivid sexual dreams, or wet dreams, can be the body's response to these heightened levels of sexual hormones. However, it can vary significantly from person to person. Just like males, females may also feel pressure, relaxation, or a sense of release after a wet dream, especially if it involves orgasm. However, because female wet dreams are less visible and less often talked about, they may be underreported or less recognized. Nonetheless, the core mechanisms, pelvic muscle contractions, hormonal release, and arousal during REM sleep are similar. Sexual thoughts, erotic dreams, or increased sexual stimulation before bed, such as watching pornography, can influence the content of dreams. Additionally, stress, anxiety, and changes in sleep patterns may also affect dream activity. Sleeping on the stomach also may increase the likelihood of wet dreams in some individuals due to physical pressure on the genitals and potentially enhanced dream vividness. However, it is not a primary factor. Hormonal activity, psychological state, and the content of dreams play a much more significant role in triggering wet dreams. If remembered, a wet dream can influence a person's mood upon wakening. Reactions often depend on personal, cultural, or religious context. Some may feel relaxed or empowered, while others might feel surprised, embarrassed, or curious, especially in cultures where wet dreams are rarely discussed or carry social stigma. People who masturbate or have regular sexual activity often have fewer wet dreams because semen is ejaculated through other means. By age, hormone levels drop and wet dreams become less frequent. Despite myths in some cultures, sleep orgasms are completely normal, even in married people and it is completely harmless. They do not cause weakness, infertility, or any medical problems, and they do not require any treatment. Wet dreams are simply a natural part of how the body and brain process sexual energy, especially during sleep. If your wet dreams are impacting your ability to sleep or function, or are affecting your mental health, and are accompanied by pain or distress, reach out to a healthcare professional for advice.